Hi folks, there's not a lot of information available for the 100 series Land Cruiser about doing a body lift. Can you still do it with AHC, fitted, you know, how easy is it, what's involved? I have the answers to those questions. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a separate video exclusively about doing a body lift. But in this video, I'm gonna take the body off my spare Land Cruiser. Spare Land Cruiser, what a luxury. Bear in mind that some of this information will cross over. So if you're going to do a body lift, you have to do most of the steps for a body removal. So I hope this video is still useful if you're considering a body lift or just replacement of the body mounts on your Land Cruiser. Well, the reason I'm doing this with the practice Land Cruiser is so that I can learn what points of wiring and cables and so on come up really tight when you do the body lift because when I do it to my good Land Cruiser I don't want to do any damage so let me show you a couple of examples just that I've spotted so far that are weak point part one the towing electrics yeah there's a couple of wires there the towing electrics come up they're still attached to the frame and the tow bar but they're also going up into the body the active height control wiring is is here and that's super tight now the brake pipes i mean they've got a bit of coil on them but uh that one is now broken and is leaking brake juice uh, onto the floor so that's a thing what wire is that i don't know what that one is oh it's a big um it's a big battery earth maybe that's like an engine earth point the steering column uh, will obviously be a problem if you're doing a body lift so just keep an eye on that hey there's an actual body mount. One of the body mounts fell out. It's over here somewhere. I saw it bounce past me. There it is. So that one just fell out when, when I lifted it. So it's a good job I'm replacing these because trying to get that back in would be a nightmare. I'll bring you up to speed on what I've done so far. All of the body mount bolts have been removed. Some of them are really tricky. The ones at the back are always so rusted solid that you have to just cut them off. Now these back two are tricky. Part of the reason why I've kept this knackered Land Cruiser is so I can learn. So this is the back body mount and to swap it, I mean it's wrecked, but to swap it I need to get that bolt off and that bolt off there. It looks like to do it on the other Land Cruiser I'm gonna have to raise the body quite a bit to get access there. The top 17 mil nut, this tab means that you, you can't rotate it. So I was trying for a long time to undo the 17mm. All you can do is remove the 14mm nut on the bottom and hope it isn't rusted solid. Maybe what you could do, if you have access to one, is use an induction heater. Fortunately, uh, my good friend Big Dave has everything and so he's got an induction heater here. So if you get stuck with a bolt, you could use that to put a bit of heat on the nut just to, to, to bust it loose. Why not? Why not? Red hot, well. Wow. As you see. Free the seas. So what I've done is use my handy dandy long 14mm socket to get all of these off. There are two in the back, one in each corner here. Then we have an odd little bolt here just in front of the wheel arches uh, to remove. That's just this cap thing, but it squeaks if you don't body lift it. Uh, if you don't remove it before the body lift. There's one underneath the rear seats, one underneath the front seats, and one underneath the front feet. And last, there's one underneath the headlight, basically. So you've probably got to remove the headlight to get to that one. But once they're done, in fact, there's still a bolt in place on that one. But once they're done, you can lift it up. Look at that for ride height. That's about a nine inch body lift, superb. My plan here is to learn by lifting this one. In fact, I'm gonna take the whole body off and put it onto this dolly frame thing that Big Dave made. And then we can get access to the rest of the frame, strip off the parts that are worth selling, and then maybe just sell the rolling frame and the body separately to someone who's interested. Learn from that other one, and then for this, lift the body, cause no damage, new body mounts. Here's an example of one of the new ones. 
looks like I'll have to reuse the bolts. Because uh, it doesn't come with bolts, just the, the holes to fit it. So let's hope they aren't uh, totally destroyed after all these years. So, we'll get the body lift on, whole new set of body mounts, and then hopefully never have to touch it ever, ever again. Five minutes later. Disconnect those loot plugs then. Oh no! Your phone is still still smashed. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I don't see any wires apart from the left hand side here. We can just ignore these like dodgy aftermarket parking sensors. This wiring here, which is on a loom plug at the top, and that's trailer wiring. That's the only thing that's really snagging. There are no, there are no hydraulic lines causing us trouble. No electrical stuff, no ABS sensors. So this back part, it looks like I'll be able to raise that quite a lot on the good Land Cruiser for access. Or I could just, you know, climb through this hole in the wheel arch to access what I need. Go on then. That's your, it's, it's binging, yeah. But other than that... There's a... There's a handbrake cable, but we can just rip that off. See how much room you've got to do things? Yeah, in and under and... Yeah. So much room for activities. And it's not, it's not too far a job to do this. If you just needed to lift yeah. it a little bit, I do, yeah, yeah. So everyone has trouble with the suspension top mounts, for, right? For the air, for the hydraulic suspension, but to get a little bit of extra clearance, ah, yeah. If you just undid some of the bolts a bit and just yeah, let it, obviously taking the entire body off. Is it? more? Yeah, your handbrake cable is probably the strongest bit. Right, I'll go down a bit. Because well, the handbrake cable is just a piece of steel cable. Well. Disconnect those loom plugs then. I mean, it doesn't really have to go much higher than that. No one will go any more underneath that. Well, this one didn't make it. Unfortunately, it is going to the scrapyard, stripped of anything valuable, including the engine. And now, this Land Cruiser will be taken away by this Land Cruiser. Bye guys! Bye guys! Bye guys! <laughs>